The dark web, a place most of us will never visit, and for good reason. The one thing you have to understand is when people go into the dark web, you're going into a very, very bad neighborhood. The dark web is the unsearchable area of the internet. It's thousands of websites where drug sellers, pornographers, and con artists use anonymity tools to hide their web addresses and conduct illicit trades. For criminals on a quest to assume someone else's identity, it's the black market where they can buy and sell social security numbers and credit card numbers. There is portals on there that uh, have page after page after page socials. We spoke with a former identity thief who served his time and asked to remain anonymous about his foray into the dark web and how quickly he was able to buy valuable information within minutes. To steal an identity takes more than just a social security number, but many different bits of personal information that are waiting somewhere online for criminals to find and buy. I would go on the dark web. I would look this person up. I'd get as much information as I could, um, social, birth date, uh, mother's maiden name. The first step to entering the dark web, downloading a Tor browser and joining a VPN, tools that allow the computer and the user to stay anonymous, both from law enforcement and other criminals. Next, finding the right marketplace, similar to this one, where everything from drugs to weapons to social security numbers are ready for purchase. They won't pop up in a Google search, but security expert Matt Malone says it takes little effort to find them. You bring your laptop, we'll set it down, and, and within 20 minutes you'll, you'll have driver's license, social security, credit card, or whatever identity you want. Now there's some guys that, you know, they're like, hey, I can get you 10 socials with guaranteed 800 credit scores, and then you gotta pay them with uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the currency of choice for the dark web. Since it isn't controlled by any bank and allows users to make payments anonymously, similar to buying something with cash, Bitcoin makes transactions seamless and keeps identity secret. While anonymity is paramount, relationships still matter, even in a virtual underworld. If a sociable criminal can get invited into a peer-to-peer -peer network, that opens up a new world of illegal possibilities. It's like you have a friend who changes their phone number every day. That's, that's the best way to put it, because there's hundreds of people out there that I associate with online, never seen their face before. People who will trade information with each other online and even help each other score major loot offline. I've actually gone and, and looked at properties for people that they were buying illegally through an alias. A big heist no longer requires criminals to put themselves in harm's way, robbing trains or banks. It's now done from the comfort of their own home, in secret and with willing accomplices just a keystroke away in the dark web. You know, they always say, oh, there's that one bad apple. Well, there's millions of bad apples. They just have a, a location to meet now. JennyHoffCreditCards.com